Welcome to Inside Obstacle News. I'm Dirty Getty, and I'm here with race director Nicole Farber with R3 Op. So tell me a little bit about your race. Uh, my race basically incorporates where we want to bring in all fitness levels, from runners that like to run to kind of CrossFit type people, and then the extreme rogers that we want to incorporate. So the race com it consists of three miles of all different obstacles. There's parts where you go through and there's just running, and then you come out and you're going to hit the obstacles, and it, it brings on the speed a little bit at the end. And then when you're all finished with it, you can go down and compete in the extreme challenge area, which that has, I think, a lot more, the skill level is a lot more diff difficult. So. Okay, I, I just finished the race, and I can tell you the extreme obstacle area was very similar to Ninja Warrior. Tell me a, a, a couple of the obstacles that we, we ran into in there. Um, we did the 12-foot climbing wall. We did the inverted wall with the 4-foot platform on the top. Um, we did the monkey bars, but with that an incline, and then you have to come back down to the other side. We also did the 20-foot rope climb and the Tarzan swings, which were kind of tidy. I think those were the most difficult of all. Which ones did you guys find the hardest? Uh, the Tarzan swing was probably the biggest challenge. Yeah, the, uh, the Tarzan swing? Yeah, definitely Tarzan swing. I was a little nervous about the um, Tarzan. The, the Tarzan rope swing was definitely the one that was knocking people out. It's the one obstacle that I had to do over. I did fail one time. And so the format, which is pretty cool, you do the timed race. Yes. And then in the obstacle area, we got three chances on each of these extreme obstacles. Yes. Um, and then everything has to be finished within the hour to yes. be eligible for the prizes. Yes. Yes. And um, so do you, do you know who kind of came in first? I know that the awards aren't coming yes, out yet, I but did. we have a we have a first place official winner. winner. Yes, his okay. name is Chris Hackett, and um, he did amazing. He hadn't he actually hadn't come out in quite some time running or anything, and he just jumped in. It was actually he had a heart for Stephanie Jallen. So when we were getting ready because he had to leave, take off, he was going back out of town, and he just told me that he was donating it all back to Stephanie. So oh wow, that's really that's, really that's amazing. totally awesome. Yes, it is. And she's <laughs> running at 12:30. He was hoping that she he would be able to stick around, but he couldn't. He got the call out. So so props to him. All right, <laughs> awesome. So. Um, so far, how um, have you got a lot of sign-ups? Are you pretty happy with how the race is going so far? I'm very happy with the way the race is going right now. Everybody's having a really good time. Everybody's smiling. That was like my whole entire, like that was everything that I had wanted. You know, not anybody being like, what the? You know, and I'd be in a hole, like crawling, you know, all curled up in a ball. But I think everybody, the, the atmosphere is very positive here. Everybody's doing a good thing. Of course I would have wanted more, but it's my inaugural rate, you know what I mean? And so I'm, I'm looking to all the participants such as yourself and everybody else to say, what can I do better for the next one and keep, keep continuing on, moving in the right direction to make it to where it's just, you know, amazing for the next one. But I tried, I, I'm trying, doing my best. I think everybody's pretty happy. Yeah, definitely. No, I, I totally enjoyed the course. Um, you know, it was... I'm not a really great runner, so the first part of it was definitely harder for me. A couple of hills, inclines, a lot of, I mean, it was rugged out there. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of, uh, you know, rocks and dirt and things like that. It wasn't just a straight, you know, trail race or anything. Yes. It was uh, a lot of ravines and some railroad tracks and stuff like that. It was pretty neat. Um, and then, but I really loved the Ninja Warrior style yeah. obstacles at the end. I really, I think that's. I, I think that's kind of where things are heading, so I think you're on a good on a good yes. track there. So. And I'm hoping next time around we're just going to continue to add on to that to make some type of short sprint, right? but it's all obstacles. Because you have different people out there who really aren't into the trail running or all the... And we kind of mix mud run and then obstacle course racing and then extreme. So you have like three parts of it, but you know we're going to just base it on wherever, obviously, the best part is like extreme. I'm getting a lot of the extreme things. I'm like, what's going on? You know, but everybody's really into that because that's where you really can see where your um, your levels are, where your ability is, and it challenges yourself. So, pretty pumped up about it. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Nicole Farber, R3 Ops. Had a great time today, and hope next time around you'll come out and check it out. 